for you. I heard somebody gave me a shout out from Tarzana Treatment Center. Where was that at? I got a shout out from, oh, a couple of them. We got a couple of us. Alumni in the house. A couple of Tarzana alumni in the house. We was too strong for that. We was too strong for that. Check it out. I'm thrilled to be here, y'all. I'm having a good time, man. But of course, I've been having a good time for a long time, man. You know, in 2015, I got the honor of inducting Paul Butterfield into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's right. Thank you, thank you. And it was on, on HBO in front of 12 and a half million viewers. I'm sure there's a few amongst you that had the opportunity to check it out. Now, I was flattered and honored, but after the gig, Paul Schaefer, that was who was in my band, you know Paul, you know Schaefer, Schaefer, yeah. Yeah, he was in the band, and Zach Brown and Tom Morello right now. After the gig was over, Paul Schaefer said, Jason, you're like a rising star, man. I said, Paul Schaefer, I know, I know. He said, no, no, man, I'm telling you, you're like a, you're like a star that eclipses other rising stars. And I'm like, what are you talking about, man? He's like, there's a whole bunch of legitimately talented young artists that are never going to get recognized because you've already eclipsed them. I said I was afraid that might happen, Paul Schaefer. I was afraid. That. He said, no, man. He said, Jason, nobody even wants to play after you. Not Bill Withers, not Stevie Wonder. I saw Stevie Wonder in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, the, the men's restroom. And, and I looked over and I, and I said, Stevie, would you sign this copy of Songs in the Key of Life? He said, I'd be delighted to, Jason Richie. That's what happened. That's what happened. But what I'm getting at is I'm often underestimated, man. You know, we was, we've been underestimated. And you're right, Andy. Boy, but like we were talking on the way here, we're more comfortable at the bottom. Like Lil Walter said, I'm more comfortable. That's not a sexual reference. It's not, it's, it's not, not a sexual reference, but it's not, in this particular case, not intended. But anyway, what I'm getting at is, you know, it doesn't bother me a bit to be the underdog, you know. I just, afterwards, I just have to tell them that I was afraid it might happen, and also, honey, I'm your headline. Hey, baby, I'm the headline. Got opinions about what the stuff 
that I'm into is, but I'm just telling you it's pretty simple, man, you know, it's not really complicated, it's just based on like the Fibonacci series and electromagnetic ray lines and shit like that, you know, you just tap into that energy, man, you know, you do what you can, man, but you know, man, I was tapping into that energy the other night, driving through Nevada, yeah, man, uh, all of a sudden, I saw this light up in the sky. I said to Jackie, he's got an app on his phone. I said, which, which planet is that? He held it up and he said, Jay, that's no planet. I said, what? He said, that's no planet. I said, what is it? He said, I believe that's what you call a UFO, ladies and gentlemen, an unidentified flying object. The next thing you know, we were missing about eight hours. Now, I went and got involved in some regression hypnotherapy, and there's two implants planted right in the side of my brain. I'm completely operating right now on interstellar alien intelligence. I mean, I'm talking about way, way, way past like just like free thinking, man. I'm talking about some weird shit. But like basically, the aliens asked me to ask y'all one question for when we take over. Are y'all ready for it? Because you might not know this about me, but I speak alien telepathy. So I'll just translate it for you right now. Are you ready? It's kind of pornographic. They're like that. They're like that with the probes. And the probes and all kinds of stuff. And they're into some stuff. But I'll tell you what they said. What kind of cake you like? That's what they want to know. I, they said, what kind of cake you like?
receiving two roll antiques.